In the middle of the last century, the world was surprised by the phenomenon of Japanese children playing violin. Hundreds of 5 to 10 year old kids cohesively played on stage even complex musical works. This surprised both the regular listeners and the music professionals. What kind of miracle is that? It turns out that these children were taught using the talent development method which was developed by Dr. Shinichi Suzuki. Like many great discoveries, this one was based on one simple truth. Every child perfectly learns to speak his or her native language. Watching children learn to speak, Shinichi Suzuki applied the same principles to teach playing. What are these principles? It is a constant hearing of music in your environment, learning to play in small steps, small musical syllables, and daily repetition of learned works. Another important point is the involvement of parents. When a child learns to pronounce his first words, parents are always admiring, always supportive, always happy. The same emotional support and faith in the child is expected from the parents as the child learns to play according to Suzuki method. Why it's so important, we'll find out soon. What do you think? What kind of character traits parents need to have if they want to be good Suzuki parents? Would you agree that Suzuki parents need to have a very good sense of humor and patience? They need to have a lot of patience. A good sense of humor is helpful in any life situation. Life without humor would be boring and grey. Dr. Suzuki had an idea that parents who understand children well can become good home teachers. And I agree with this idea that creative parents can be wonderful home teachers. All children like to have fun. Some of them like fun games, others like sweets or watching cartoons when the work is done. We all like to be praised after a well done job. Children really like to be praised by their parents. I like that you're working so seriously. Or I really like to listen to you play. Or maybe 
Could you repeat this piece one more time? I like it a lot. Or similar phrases. If parents can transform hard work into a fun game, the child will be practicing every day and their abilities will grow faster, feeling that the parents are interested in the process. Parents always attend Suzuki lessons right from the first meeting with the teacher. If one parent is attending lessons, the other helps organizing concerts or making sure that they have the recordings of the pieces from the Suzuki repertoire to be able to listen to all of them anywhere they go. For example, while commuting, or before the beginning of each lesson, or before falling asleep. Children love to participate in concerts, so when children are prepared to perform, they can do so for parents, friends or the whole family. That inspires them and helps them feel successful. This is the way to involve the whole family and all of the family surroundings in the learning process. It helps to create a Suzuki family and this kind of a relationship is very special. Everyone has a vivid imagination, so just imagine that you're a small child again and you're a child who wants to do all of your schoolwork perfectly, but you're not successful in doing it. How would you feel? When I was a child, I was a little afraid of almost all of my teachers. I really wanted to be a good student, and if I didn't succeed, I felt guilty and disappointed due to not living up to their expectations. And if your childhood was full of similar feelings, maybe today you're asking yourself how to protect your own child from those types of situations. When I found the Suzuki method seven years ago, I understood that it's possible to create an environment full of love when adults teachers and parents wait for a result as long as the child needs it. This is an opportunity to compare the child's achievements only with their own and the adults are always close by. I think it can be helpful in helping to improve the learning process. Isn't that incredible?
Have you ever wondered how many hours does a three or four year old play? Would you believe that such child could spend an hour or even more playing with his new toy, the violin, daily? For example, in the morning a child would repeat an exercise for a whole group of toys. At lunchtime, he'd repeat it for the number of times he rolled on a dice. <laughs> Lastly, a kid shouldn't be bored to repeat it until he counts the parts of a puzzle. Or he'll gently rock a grub until it falls asleep. A child would happily learn a new piece to play it at his birthday or to his grandparents or to rabbits in the forest. That really happened. My pupil told me that when she learned a new song, she performed it in a forest. A stump was her stage and the animals were her audience. She did see a rabbit and the birds were singing along. The Suzuki teacher and also you could think of many new games and be surprised by how fun it actually is to play with your children. Consequently, without extra effort, you are developing their habit to play and practice. And the children understand that by working every day, they can learn any skill. If you want to know more about the Suzuki method, I invite you to read Shinichi Suzuki's book, Natured by Love. This is an amazing autobiographical book in which Suzuki himself reveals how he began this method, what discoveries he made, and how it all evolved. Another splendid book is a book by Australian teacher Sheila Warbys, With love in my heart and a twinkle in my ear. A wonderful guide for parents, you will find very simple, very sincere observations on how to work with the child, how to prepare for lessons, how to play at home. Finally, the last book is by American teacher Edward Cateman, Teaching Open Heart. Although the, the author himself presents his book as a guide for Suzuki's parents, teachers and pupils, however, 
I would recommend this book especially for teachers. In this book you will find various tips, various exercises and reviews on various skills development. There is even more literature about Suzuki's teaching method, therefore I invite you to read these books.